How to effectively use visual storytelling for your brand in 2015. Eight seconds is the amount of time you have to capture your prospect's attention before something else catches their eye and steals their click away from you and the content you spend so much time crafting and refining. As we navigate mounting distractions, the average human attention span is now actually shorter than a goldfish's. That's right, it's actually decreasing. So in 2012, it was around 12 seconds. In 2015, 8 seconds. And a goldfish is still ahead with about 9 seconds. But what does this actually mean for marketers? I mean, how do you compete with a deluge of information fighting for your audience's attention? You want to get more love, more fans, more conversations, but how do you do that without overloading your staff and resources? Visual storytelling, that's how. I mean, science tells us our noggins are wired to love pictures. Almost half our brain is involved in visual processing, interpreting visuals in less than a tenth of a second. And you know what else our brains love? Stories. We can't help it. We're compelled to organise information into a narrative. When you combine the two, the visual and the story, you multiply your content's reach and conversion. Social media posts with visuals deliver 180% greater engagement. Tweets with images receive 150% more retweets. Viewers are 85% more likely to purchase a product after watching a product video. Images make up 93% of the most engaging posts on Facebook, so if you're not putting an image, you might as well not bother. Articles that contain images get 94% more views than articles without. Users clicking on photos of real people are 200% as likely to convert to a sale. Blogs that integrate video attract 300% more inbound links. And video is 53 times more likely to generate a first page Google ranking than other kinds of content. Not only do visual elements trigger greater engagement, but they also help your audience remember your content for longer. There's something called the picture superiority effect on content recall. So with words, you might only get a 10% recall, whereas words and visual, you get more like a 65% recall, which is an absolutely massive increase. This infographic was made by Wyden, and this video is made with Tool. Thanks for watching.